The Apprentice rises above partisanship, humanizes Donald Trump. The president need not fight this unflattering film focused on his mentor, Roy Cohn. This is Fergus Hodgson, publisher of The Impunity Observer. Like its protagonist, The Apprentice, which is 123 minutes and came out this year, will mean different things to different people and enable an odd mix of confirmation biases. Those watching the same enthralling portrayal of the young Donald Trump and his attorney mentor, Roy Cohn, who passed away in 1986, will extract starkly different conclusions. Mega partisans will likely highlight Trump's courage, ambition, and productivity. Those infected with Trump derangement syndrome will dwell on his ruthlessness, ego, and at times, cold demeanor. Both are right and have more than a kernel of truth to their versions of the story. However, given the October 11 US release, less than a month before the presidential election, both sides are amid the battle and likely to miss the point of The Apprentice. As Iranian-born director Ali Abbasi explained on the leftist Democracy Now! program, he does not have a partisan ax to grind, and he sought to provide the broader human side of both Trump and Khan. Abbasi's interest has been in the historic, influential relationship between the two larger-than-life men and the broader system that rewarded some of their unsavory actions. Quote, The Apprentice is about a transformative relationship, a buddy movie for two villains, if you like, or two superheroes, or two antiheroes, whichever way you want to look at it, unquote. Abbasi also tweeted, that the film is, quote, not taking sides politically. It's entertaining and surprising, and I feel it's a fair portrayal of these colorful and polarizing characters, unquote. The film's accuracy cannot be down to the word. No doubt there is plenty of creative embellishment and improvisation, but the account, for the most part, is believable. The screenwriter was Gabriel Sherman, a Vanity Fair correspondent who has long covered Trump's escapades. Further, an out-of-the-blue endorsement came from Roger Stone. Quote, the portrayal of Roy Cohen by actor Jeremy Strong in the new movie The Apprentice is uncanny in its accuracy. Unquote. If you want to heighten your financial knowledge, look no further than Edge Designations led by Russell Jude. I completed the Kaya program with Russell. He's accessible and provides streamlined financial education. I've negotiated a 10% discount on his prep programs, Kaya, CFA, FRM, and FDP. Use the FERG coupon code when registering at edgedesignations.com. Stone, a political consultant to and longtime friend of Trump and Cohn, features as a minor character in the film, and few people would be better positioned to comment on The Apprentice's veracity. I got to meet Stone in the mid-2010s at a speaking engagement with a libertarian club near his home in Hollywood, Florida. He has seen a lot and at that time was promoting his books, The Clinton's War and Woman, 2015, and Jeb and the Bush Crime Family, 2016. Although The Apprentice goes overboard on lewdness and titillation, its character development and acting are impressive. Despite cackles from cat ladies in the audience, the viewer at the cinema is able to feel empathy for both Cohn and Trump. The same goes for many of those around Trump, especially for the late Ivana Trump, played by the captivating Bulgarian Maria Bakalova. While one does not wish to release spoilers, the richness of the film captures the ironies inherent in the Trump-Cohn relationship, which came undone in later years and their strategies and worldviews. On the one hand, seemingly unprincipled, but also staunchly anti-communist. This juxtaposition was no easy task, and it speaks to the attention to detail and passion of the director and producers. Precision necessitated political incorrectness, perhaps catalyzed by a foreign director. And The Apprentice conveys the ugly side of real estate and nightlife in 1970s New York City. Trump's father calling the US Justice Department a bunch of faggots hits the nail on the head of the likely sentiment. 
Further, the passing of older brother Fred Jr. to alcoholism in 1981 explained Donald's aversion towards alcohol, which stands to this day. The former president has released a statement calling The Apprentice, quote, a fake and classless movie, a cheap, defamatory and politically disgusting hatchet job, unquote. Only Trump and those nearest to him know what went on behind closed doors. So some of the most salacious content is hearsay. The subtitle, An American Horror Story, is also hyperbolic and likewise compounds the problem. However, none of us is a saint and most of us do not want our dirty laundry aired to the world. We're inclined to forgive when someone owns up to character flaws. Meanwhile, the film demonstrates that Trump has many admirable traits. By going on a rant about this film, Trump is raising its profile and adding weight to the idea that it has grave revelations about him. It does not and was not meant to be a hit job. Rather, it is a portrayal of two men thriving amid shark infested waters and coming out on top. Those uninclined to watch a sober documentary will appreciate this film, which captures the drama amid the successes and failures of a momentous man who, with the pivotal help of Cohn, has changed the course of US history. If you would like more content at the Nexus of the Americas, please go to impunityobserver.com and subscribe for full access.